going on guys it's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another video sorry I haven't been posting a lot lately that's because I have been in school and I've been busy with all of that crazy stuff but I have finally put out a new video for you guys and I hope you guys like it in today's video we're gonna be creating a very simplistic and hipster ish look logo and this is the logo we're gonna be creating here it doesn't take that long it should be very easy and short so let's go ahead and get started so to start I have imported an image here but we first have to create our project so go over to file new and then go ahead and give your your uh, project a new name I'm gonna just name it roses the width I want that to be 1920 by 1080 there we go with the resolution 72 I don't know why it changed it but yeah that's that and then keep everything the same uh, we want a transparent background so just click OK and here we go I'm gonna go ahead and name this black because we're gonna fill that with black make sure our foreground color is set to black and if it isn't just double click and set it to black just like that click OK and then press option delete or alt delete if you're on a PC and that will fill the layer with black so once you have done that we're gonna go ahead and drop our image onto our new project here so press command A to select everything or control A if you're on a PC and then press command C or control C and then go back to our new project and press command V or control V on a PC and press command T or control T I know there's a lot of shortcuts I'm just trying to get you guys to you know get used to these shortcuts and then press um, hold alt or shift on one of the corners here and just drag outwards you could also hold down alter option to make it bigger from the center and I'm just gonna make this pretty big and make sure to fill it here but before we actually scale that we're gonna go ahead and create a uh, we're gonna convert it to a smart object so it doesn't make it all blurry so I'm gonna click convert to smart object and I'm gonna name the layer to roses once I've done that we can now again uh, transform it so press command T or control T and then hold shift and alt to make it bigger from the center there and then make sure it fills the whole entire canvas and press command enter or control enter and once we've done that make sure we we are on our roses layer and then go to filter go down to blur and then go down to Gaussian blur the radius we want to put it at 1.5 pixels click OK and then we're gonna go down to filter we're gonna go to noise and we're gonna add some noise and we're gonna add a 2% noise just to give it that you know very nice Gaussian with a texture-ish effect to it and then just click OK so once we have done that um, we're pretty much good to go and all we have to do now is go to the bottom here and then go to hue and saturation and then once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and go to this right here where it says you know this little hand here it's gonna say master and that will control all of our reds yellows greens cyans blues and magentas so we're gonna go ahead and decrease the hue to about I don't know eight and the saturation to about uh, 18 yeah and then we're gonna go and change the magentas because there's um, quite some pink in there so we're gonna decrease the hue just a bit and the saturation uh, I guess 15 right there should be good so now we have this like that so this looks pretty good and now we can decrease the opacity of our roses so it blends in with the background which is set to black so we're gonna go ahead and click and drag where it says opacity or just click this little down arrow and then decrease that to 35% would be good now we can go ahead and group all of our layers so click the first layer and hold shift and click the bottom layer and that will select everything in between press command G or control G to group the layers together and name the group to whatever you want I'm gonna just name it BG for uh, background and then once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and um, add our texture so I have the texture here you guys could download this texture I will post it in the description so you guys can download it so press command A and command C to copy it or control C if you're on a PC and then press command V or control V and that will paste the texture and it looks like this so I'm gonna teach you how to work with this texture here I made a tutorial just on textures so if I haven't then uh, just tell me and I'll make a textures tutorial so hold down alter option just to make this a little bit smaller and I want this to be like this I don't want any of these little feathery thingies so I'm gonna just uh, you know bring it down to the bottom here and press command enter to accept the changes or control enter and then because the background here is black and the particles 
is set to white, you want to kind of make the, the black background go away. And to do that, you're going to go ahead and change the blend mode. So where it says normal, click on that and then go down to screen and that will just get rid of the black and just keep the white little particles there. And we're going to decrease the opacity to about, I don't know, 55% is a good place. In between 50 and 60% is good. I don't want it to be too strong. So this is our background, it looks pretty good, and now we have to add our text. Now I have paid for this text here that I'll show you right now, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. I'm going to name this text, and I'm going to name the texture layer to texture here. And I'm going to go to text, and the text that I have purchased is this one here, it's a brush font. So you know, if you don't want to purchase any fonts, then I'll leave a couple of fonts in the description that are for free that you could download that look just as this one here, but I bought this one because this one looks amazing. So I'm gonna just type in roses and of course set the font to white because we don't want a uh, black font um, because it, you can't see it. So we're gonna make this bigger just like that and center it, it should just snap like that. And uh, so we have roses here. And by the way, if you're wondering what the font is, the font is called Wave Heart One uh, or just Wave Heart. And I'll post the link for that in the description if you guys want to purchase it. I'm not sponsored by the creator in any way. So it came, when I purchased it, it came with three uh, fonts. Well, two fonts. The Have Heart 1, which is the regular font. And it's kind of curvy. And the next one is Wave Heart 2. And this is if you don't want your main text to be... Um, the main heading if that makes any sense so here we have roses let me go ahead and tell you and let me go ahead and show you what I mean so I'm gonna type in roses I'm gonna just type in um, new okay so you can see let me go ahead and make that bigger so you guys can see that so you can see that it's, it's kind of curvy like that we want it to stand out from the main text so we select all of it and we go down to wave heart 2 and that makes it more of a regular type of font if that makes any sense so it's not very curvy all right, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, you can see the difference, uh, but we're not gonna be adding two texts there. So we're just gonna be having our main text in the middle, which is roses. And it also came with uh, with the swashes. And if you guys don't know what swashes are, a line that goes under the text. And let me go ahead and show you what that means. So I'm gonna press Z, that's not the one I want. Swash, here we go. So I could do that. There's many, many, many swashes that are available for you so you can choose your liking and you could do it just like that and that's the one i chose um, again there's a lot so this is why i like this font because it comes with these swashes so if i press like different uh, letters on my keyboard it gives you different swashes that you could choose um, you could do that one of course you want to make it bigger and you could change it to however you'd like you could also create this in illustrator if you want but these are just pre-made and that is awesome. So here we have roses and the little swash underneath and we can go ahead and press command and click on text to highlight both. Press command G to group them together and press text or type in text and here is our finished logo. If you guys like this tutorial then please leave a rating below that will be much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new if you want to see more of these type of tutorials. And if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to check them out. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out and take care.